In previous videos and lectures, we've talked about using different text editors like Notepad, Sublime Text, Notepad++, Atom, lots of different other ones. Personally, I'm a fan of Sublime Text and of Notepad++. Sublime Text does cost money, not very much. It was like 30 or 40 bucks when I bought it. Uh, that was a few years ago. But Notepad++ is completely free, and there's a few little features and settings I'm going to just show you briefly in Notepad++. Um, maybe in the future I'll make a video about some of the other text editors, but most people tend to in this class use Notepad++. It has all the things that we need. Uh, also, for those of you who know what an IDE is, for those of you who don't, just turn off your brains for a minute, but for those of you who do know what an IDE is, an integrated development environment, such as Eclipse or something like that, I highly, highly, highly discourage using that for this class for 1430 um, because there, there's too many other things that go into the IDE that just sort of convolute uh, the real thing we're trying to learn, which is how to write HTML code. All right, so let's just stick with something like Notepad++. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You don't want to use Notepad, plain old Notepad, or I think the, the Mac version of that is like called Text Edit or something like that. You don't want to use that because it's a little too plain. But Notepad++ gives you a little bit of syntax highlighting, and it's pretty easy to, to manage and use. So uh, I've already installed Notepad++. Hopefully you've done that and downloaded it. And let's just go ahead and open it up here. And the first thing we're going to see here when I open it, it opens previous files that I've had open in the past, right? That's just the default behavior. So if I add another thing here and I add some text in here and then I, I'm not saving anything, I just close out Notepad and then I reopen it, Notepad++, and I reopen it and it still has those files there. Well, those I didn't want to keep those are things I didn't want to use. They're things I didn't want to save. I just don't, I don't want them to keep coming up every time I open up Notepad++. So I'm going to show you how to turn that feature off first. So to solve this, what is in my mind an annoying problem, right? We're going to go to Settings, go to Preferences, and then down here uh, to Backup, right there. Click on Backup, and then this little box here that says Remember Current Session for Next Launch. I'm going to uncheck that box, okay? Click Close, and then when I close this out, it's going to ask me if I want to save those, and I don't want to save them, so I'm going to click No, No, and then when I reopen, that is gone okay so that's thing number one getting rid of remembering the previous stuff that you had open now you may like that feature that way if you accidentally close it down you don't lose your work and that's totally up to you if you want to leave it great if not great okay either way is fine second thing uh, i highly prefer a different scheme i don't like this white background um, so what i'm going to do quickly is create some basic html here that we all should know um, if we haven't got to this part in the course yet, you will be very shortly. So I'm going to quickly write some HTML, then we'll come back. Okay, I've written some basic HTML here. Um, and if, if you haven't gotten to this part of the semester yet, that's okay. Uh, but it, it's, I mean, it's probably the next lecture. And I change the order sometimes when I show this particular video. So uh, there's a couple things I, I don't like about this. So let me save the file, first of all. So if I save it... Um, and I'm going to just save it on my desktop here. We're going to call it index.html. It does give me some syntax highlighting, right? All the tags turn blue, and the the font or the things that I'm typing turn uh, black. But I just don't like this color scheme at all. So um, I'm going to add one more thing here, an image, which um, we've seen this already, I hope. HTTPS www.filmary.com slash 200. 200. Um, this you'll see this in the, in the first video about how to make images and so forth in the in the course. Right? This isn't a course. This isn't a video on HTML. This is a video on Notepad plus plus. All right. So now, notice that this this thing here, the attribute is one color, the tag is another color, and the value is another color, and then the text in between the tags is yet another color. Right? Which is good. You want that kind of highlighting, but they're very subtle. So the theme I prefer is different, and I'm going to show you how to get there. We go to Tools, or sorry, Settings, and then go to Style Configurator. And then right here you can choose a theme, right? So I'm using the default right now, but I can use, like, there's one called Hello Kitty, and it makes everything pink, right? That one's a little too bold, like too bright in your face for me. Um, but there's lots of different ones, like Navajo. So this is cool kind of a theme here. The one I like is called Deep Black, all right? So that's the one I'm going to use. I'm going to choose that click save and close 
and I prefer this particular theme, right? I like the syntax highlighting. I like the orange here. I like the white text here. Um, I, I just like the way this one looks for me. If you don't like it, you can choose a different one, but now you kind of know how it works. So that's two things. Number one, how to get rid of the, the tabs when you load up the page. Number two, um, how to change the theme you're doing. In fact, let's take a little, let's keep a little running tab here. So uh, prevent previous unsaved documents from loading. That was thing number one. Thing number two, and uh, let's go back one. Thing number two is changing the theme, the theme here. Thing number three is fixing the tabs. Okay, let me show you what I mean by that. If I come over here and I want to, um, after I type in, say, a paragraph here, um, let's go, maybe I want to type um, uh, another paragraph and, and then I want to hit enter and I want to type an anchor tag. So I tab over to put the anchor tag and then I'm going to have something between the anchor tag or whatever and then close the paragraph something is a little funky there we go okay uh, that tab went way too far over this is four spaces here I prefer it to only be two spaces it looks a little bit nicer when you do that so I'm gonna go in and show you how to do that and again you go to settings preferences go down to language and under language you can see tab size right here you're gonna click on that and I change mine to two all right hit enter and you'll notice that my document also tabbed everything back a little bit okay so that takes care of the tab and to me that looks a little bit cleaner and a little bit nicer all right so that's the third thing the fourth thing is um, word wrap oops word wrap word wrap okay word wrap so oh, I don't want to say that come back over here to word wrap and what I mean by that if I have a lot of text I've just got some fake text in my copy buffer here a lot of text here this text uh, if I didn't have word wrap on it would be running off the screen to the right so if I go right up here see where the word plugins is right below there's this button here if I highlight it it's a, if I hover over it it says word wrap if I click that it turns the word wrap off and now the text goes all the way across like so if I turn on the word wrap by clicking that button then you can see it all on one page and it's a little easier to read there are cases though where I'm looking at the code and I want to shorten it up a little bit and so I will turn off the word wrap just briefly to look at it just to see the basic structure of the page so that's another useful tool for you the last thing the fifth thing is probably my favorite actually there's two more things I apologize but these next two are my favorite things and there's the column column edit mode and the other thing is the line duplication okay these are the things I use more than anything else when I use notepad plus plus so let's look at column edit mode let's go ahead and clean this up right here all right now it's not uncommon to um, let's say I wanted to make a whole bunch of UL tags which you, you may or may not have learned about again this is not all about what are the tags this uh, that comes later this lecture is about notepad um, so I made uh, an, an li tag here and I made maybe three or four of them okay um, and then I realized oh I wanted to put anchor tags in between those right I wanted anchor tags in there well what I can do is I can actually type them all at the same time instead of having to type it four times right so what I can do is put my cursor right where it's at where I want it to be then hold the shift key and the alt key and then the down arrow and that will move me down and now I'm selecting multiple lines at once and now whatever I type will be typed on all of those lines so I'm going to do an anchor tag here href equals something close the anchor tag and then close the anchor tag okay whoops right so now I've been able to edit four lines at once pretty cool uh, so that's called multiple column select now I, pretty much every advanced text editor not notepad but other ones like sublime and Adam those other ones I named they do have some version of this they all work a little bit differently my favorite way that uh, of all the text editors notepads way of working is my favorite okay so using the shift and the alt key I can move my arrow key up and down and select multiple lines the last one is line duplication so let's go back to the scenario maybe I've only maybe I only made one of these and I need to make like 10 of them 
right? I can do copy and paste 10 times, or I can just hit Control D, and that will duplicate whatever line I'm on. Right now, my cursor is on this line, number nine. If I hit Control D, it makes another one. If I just hit Control D a bunch of times, I just made whatever, 10 of those with, with almost no effort. So that those two things, that's Control D for duplication, they're extremely useful. If you are using um, Sublime Text, uh, I believe the hotkey is Control Shift D for the line duplication. Um, and I don't know what it is in Atom, but again, pretty much all text editors also have a line duplication. So for your computer, like maybe Notepad++ on a Mac is a different hotkey. So Google Notepad++ Mac du line duplication hotkey or something like that, right? Or Sublime Text Windows duplication hotkey or Atom, uh, A-T-O-M is the name of that text editor, Atom, A-T-O-M, uh, Mac line duplication, right? So, um, though, but those two tools there, line duplication and multiple column edit mode are lifesavers when you're writing code. I use them all the time. And any coding videos going forward that you see me do, you will see me use them all the time. So that's it for this video. I just want to show you a few little simple things about Notepad++ that will help you out and get you going um, and making using this tool a lot easier for you.